lovely Capricorns. So guys, this is your bonus reading. Um, the previous Capricorn reading, the main one for this month, was very specific, but I decided to post it. It was definitely for someone. Could simply be an awarding reading. So guys, let's lift the energy. I've cleansed the deck. I've Paolo Santoed. I've asked Archangel Michael to help me lift the vibration. So let us begin. Here we go. <laughs> This is the Tarot of Dreams. I think you guys already know that. Everything is listed down below. And uh, yeah, let's begin. Let's begin. So Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF reading for my Capricorns. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Friday, the 7th of June, 2024. This is their bonus reading. This is their bonus reading. Thank you, Michael. Hmm. Okay, guys, let's get into this. The Knight of Swords. Okay. The Strength Card. Capricorn, you may be holding back from having an argument with an air sign or a Leo because there's a sense of I've already won. So Cappy, you could have had someone that tried to mistreat you or someone who wasn't acting with integrity. But Cappy, you may have turned your back, held your head high and thought, you know what? I'm going to ignore the situation and forge forward onto a new path. It's as if, yeah, leaving this behind. With the energy of the hangman, you're seeing things from a very different perspective. You're looking at the bigger picture, Capricorn. And with the energy of the Eight of Coins, you may either be working on a situation with a Leo or a Pisces. Now, for some of you, Cappy, if this is a follow on reading, and it might be for some, what you're realising is you may have almost been seduced into a sort of get rich quick scheme or somebody who was promising you fame and fortune what you're realising now is, no, that's not the way to do it. I simply need to get my head down and work hard. So it could be a follow on reading from the previous one. With the Seven of Cups, you are looking at options. With the Seven of Wands, I feel, Cappy, you're sitting in the energy of, I want to be a one man band. I don't want to bring anyone else into my life. I am wanting to do this on my own. Now, it could be because you trusted someone in the past and you got burned. It could be, Cappy, because when you're successful and you will be, you want to feel as if you did it all by yourself, you know? Yeah. Two of Cups. You may be thinking about a soulmate connection. But with the Two of Swords, you don't know whether or not you want to delve into love at this point of time. Cappy, you may have had a lot of people interested in you romantically. They could have been sending you passionate messages. But if this is some form of follow on reading, you may have been seduced by someone you later found out was a scammer. So this is you coming off internet dating sites. This is you thinking, yep, I don't trust anyone who tells me they're in love with me after 24 hours. I'm protecting myself and I'm going to get my head down and concentrate on work. Four Swords. I'm almost feeling happy you are in some form of recovery. You may be dreaming up some wonderful ideas, Capricorn, with the energy of the Palace of Wands. That can be a lot of inspiration. Yes, inspiration pertaining to rebuilding your financial foundation. Beautiful. And with the energy of justice, this is you getting yourself back into a place of balance. Now, it may also be, Cappy, that this is you speaking to a Libra. 
it could be this is you wanting to work with a Libra or you're deciding I'm not going to go into partnership with anyone else. I'm simply going to work three jobs, three contracts to build up my finances. Yes, because with the energy of the chariot, Cancerian energy, this is you moving forward, feeling victorious. So Cappy, this is a really lovely energy you're sat in. This is strength, perseverance. This is you with your feet on the ground. This is you getting real with yourself. You may be coming up with a wonderful business idea. And this is you getting yourself into a place of balance and progress with the chariot. So under the deck, we have tree of life. Capricorn, this is you learning a lot of lessons you may have pulled yourself out of a very complicated, stressful situation. With the energy of the magician, you are manifesting, moving forwards into karma waters. With the energy of the Ace of Swords, this is you leaving the past behind. With a page of coins, you may be thinking about signing a contract for a job. With the Knight of Coins, they could be offering you a really good salary. And with the Three of Wands, Capricorn, you are waiting for your ship to come in. Wow. So guys, this is a very powerful energy you are sat in. Okay. You're being proactive. You're moving forward. You're taking control of your life and you are leaving the past behind. So Cappy, this feels as if this is you concentrating on you having gone over a bit of a tricky time. It could have been anything, guys. It could have been job loss. It could be this is you changing careers. It could be this is you moving, relocating and needing to find a job in a different area. But you're getting back on your feet, Cappy. And this is you forging forward. So, guys, let's move into messages from the angels. Archangel Michael, what messages do we have, please, for Cappy from the angels? Recovery. Could be a follow-on reading from the previous one, or you are simply recovering from something that was challenging. Yeah, for some reason. The situation will improve. So, Cappy, don't worry. Things are going to get better. Okay. Meditation brings answers. So, Capricorn, this is you delving into... Your internal self, right? This is you realizing what you need to do. What else are the angels saying? Let go. So, Cappy, if you have been consciously wanting to hang on to something, a person, a situation, an outcome, what they're saying is it's not going to work out. Let go of that. Let go of that and move forward. And put in the work is what I'm getting. Just put in the work, move forward and put in the work. For instance, you may have been wanting to get money back if you've been scammed. You know, this is you feeling really angry, trying to figure out if you can take legal action. What they're saying is the money may now be gone. So look to the future, let go of the past and concentrate on rebuilding. OK, remain positive, Cappy. Lovely energy. Remain positive, guys. And wait. Don't do anything impulsive. Don't do anything uh, crazy. What should Capricorn wait for? Communication. Or they're saying wait and then communicate. You may want to speak to somebody right now. You may be feeling it's urgent. I need to talk to you. I want to tell you how I feel or I want to tell you what's been happening with me. What they're saying is hold back and wait, but let go of the past and remain positive. You will recover. Your situation will improve. So once again, Cappy, I don't think this is about you and a love interest. I think this is you recovering from what you've been through. And maybe rebuilding your finances. You're going to have a lot of inspiration here. And I think you're going to be working hard on some kind of contract. For some of you, you may even be considering moving. So I'm not going to get love messages for you guys. Let's just dip into the Lenormand deck to find out a little bit more information. 
Archangel Michael, what have you got, please, for my lovely Capricorns? Thank you. Beautiful. Now, Capricorn, this is you standing at crossroads thinking about your stability. Do you want to go through the red door? Do you want to go through the blue door? This is you needing to make some decisions. Okay. You may feel a little bit confused, Capricorn. We've got a maze here. How am I going to get to where I want to be, right? How do I get to my end game? <laughs> I'm hearing Taylor Swift. I feel Capricorn is saying, don't panic, just wait. You don't need to rush. Wait. Okay? You may be in panic mode thinking, oh my gosh, you know, I, I need to rebuild my money. I, I need to start to think about my future. I need to do this. I need to do that. No, Capricorn, because remember, you're still recovering from something. You're still recovering from something that was difficult. So no rush. No rush, Cappy. Okay? Take your time. Yeah. You may feel as if there's a massive obstacle in the way, but with a two and a one, which is three, you can clear that obstacle. You may have to look at your life, your situation differently. Think outside the box. Okay, think outside the box. With a number four, I feel Capricorn, you're really wanting to feel... The ground beneath your feet, you may have been through a time which made you feel very unstable. You're looking for a safe place to land right now. But what the divine is saying is it's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. So just keep working. If you have some wonderful ideas, test them out. OK, this is you needing to concentrate, I think, on your foundation. This is you almost in panic mode. I'm standing at crossroads. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I've got this massive obstacle in front of me. I want to feel stable. You're almost in panic mode. But you're still recovering. Four of swords recovery. Take a big step back and literally put one foot in front of the other. Okay, well, maybe I should start with looking at my career. Do I want to change my career? If you have suffered job loss or anything, this is the ideal time for you to make a change. Because there's something that you've been recovering from that was difficult. And it may be to do with your finances because you've got three pentacles. OK, you're rebuilding. Yeah, what you're trying to do, Cappy, is bridge this gap. Now, this is you at one side of the bridge, clutching hold of three pentacles. OK, I, I want to get over here, but how do I get over there? It's going to need patience. Patience, hard work, diligence. And I'm hearing self-confidence, Capricorn. Self-confidence. Hmm. There may be some good news relating to your situation. We have a wishing well. But this just tells me that you're desperately wanting to get out of the situation you're in to a place where you feel much more stable. Yeah. With a number three, again, you're keen to move. You're keen to sort of get over there somehow. But don't rush it. Because with a number 10, you've just ended a cycle. You're really keen to embrace change, but you have to be ready for this. All right, we have the anchor. Now, the anchor is all about you feeling stable. Capricorn, I feel as if you're just wanting to feel safe supported, protected and at peace. You don't want to have to worry about your finances. You don't want to have to worry about people taking advantage of you. This is you feeling a little vulnerable. OK, this is you just feeling a bit vulnerable. What they're saying is it's going to take time. No rush, no panic. Don't think to yourself, oh, my God, I've lost my job. So uh, 
I'm just going to book a flight and head off and live in another country and see if that's going to work. No, because that's you clutching at straws because you're feeling a bit stressed. Don't do anything impulsive. The best course of action is for you to think, first of all, about rebuilding your finances or improving your finances. So this is you updating your CV. This is you looking at various contracts, the jobs out there. They may not be perfect for you. They may not be ideal, but it's a step in the right direction. All right, guys. So let's move into a second reading. I feel as if the divine wants you to put the past in the past and make a power play by, you know, stepping forward in some way. Yeah. Underneath the deck, we have the scythe. The divine is asking you to completely close out a cycle, whether or not it was a cycle relating to somebody else, a series of really bad jobs, whether or not it was you being scammed or whether or not this was you hoping that somebody was going to come back. No, what they're saying is let go. Whatever you are hanging on to, clinging on to, let it go. The divine is going to open up a brand new path. Let's have a look and see what that new path looks like. I'll see you there. Okay, my beautiful Cappies, let's have a look and see what the next few months are going to bring you. Archangel Michael, what do the next few months bring for my lovely Capricorns, please? For my lovely Capricorns. Now through until the end of the year, please, Michael, thank you. What does Capricorn need to know? Thank you. Okay. The five of wands, you're a little bit in your head, internal conflict. Thinking about the energy of the star. Cappy, I think this is simply you trying to figure out what your dream come true is. Your perfect job, your perfect relationship. This is you in your head. What is going to really do it for me? What are my ideals, my goals, my dreams? The Emperor. Wow. Capricorn, male or female, you're taking charge. You could be finding your dream job. This could be you speaking to a boss. With the energy of the two of coins, you may need to make a decision. And that decision may relate to your finances. You could be going for a couple of interviews, Cappy. You may get two job offers. With the energy of the fool, you're going to be going for something. You could be communicating with an Aries. Strong Aries with the Emperor and the fool. Three of cups. There's going to be celebration. Lovely energy and justice. <laughs> okay. Capricorn, this is looking wonderful. So this is you in your head. What do I really want? Where do I want to go? What do I want to concentrate on? I think this is you stepping into emperor energy or you're meeting an emperor. Could be the boss of a company. Could be you speaking to your father, whoever this is. You're going to make a decision as to how to improve your finances. You're going to go for something here. And there's going to be a lot of celebration about a legal contract. Beautiful guys. Ace of Swords. And because Capricorn, this is you getting yourself into balance. I think emotionally, you're going to finally be able to let go of the past. Whatever this was. You may have been hanging on to a difficult cycle. This is you finally detaching, having brought balance to your life. Beautiful energy, guys. The death card, major change and transformation, Scorpio energy. Temperance. This is you feeling a lot more peaceful. I feel the angels are around you, guiding you. With the energy of the moon, there's a little bit of fear, but that's normal. You're heading to the Ten of Cups. Capricorn. This is so lovely, guys. Yeah, and there's going to be a lot of excited communication about that Ten of Cups, whatever it is for you. 
So it looks to me as if there's going to be victory and success. This could be a home dynamic. You could be supported by your parents as you find your feet financially. It could be you moving and landing an amazing job. Whatever this is, Cappy, major change and transformation. The angels are guiding you to just relax. Take it step by step. You don't need to sit in a place of fear because with the Ten of Cups, that's the energy you're moving into. Eight of Wands, fast action, a lot of excitement. So Cappy, however you look at this, it's looking really, really positive. You needed this, Cappy. Whoever I've been connecting with, you've been through a tough time. So guys, under the deck, we have the Six of Wands, Victory and Success. The Wheel of Destiny, there's going to be a fortunate turn of events, Cappy. Nine of Coins, for many of you, you may be concentrating on your stability, your independence, and I think there's a lot that's going to be opening up to you. Seven of Cups, options left, right and centre. With the Three of Wands, Cappy, you're waiting for your ships to come in. And with the final card being the Six of Swords, you're moving to Karma Waters. Now, for some of you, this could be you even considering relocating to a new area, starting afresh, you know. So guys, wow, a beautiful, beautiful energy coming through. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> Let's from here get some messages from the universe. Okay, so I'm using Stacey DeMarco, Queen of the Moon. What do we have, please, Archangel Michael? Messages for my cappies. Thank you. Peace. Perfect. I feel whoever I've been connecting with, you've been through it. With a two and an eight, which is ten, you're ending a cycle of feeling stressed, feeling burdened. You're finally going to be moving into a place of peace. Yes, Capricorn, it's all to come. You're going to find yourself sitting in the ten of cups, feeling very happy, very happy. You've learned a lot of lessons, Capricorn. It hasn't been easy. These could be lessons relating to your stability. This is you now, Cappy, making wise choices for the future. Wisdom. Thank you, Michael. Change. You need to embrace change, Capricorn, and release the past. If you have the courage to do that, I think all of this beautiful energy is going to start to open up for you. Pleasure. I feel there's a lot of happiness and pleasure in your future, Capricorn. There's something here which relates to you being surrounded by light. Surrender to your future Capricorn and don't look back. Okay, you may be manifesting under the light of a full moon. So as always, guys, we're going to be receiving a final message from Archangel Michael. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's move that back there. So what do we have, please, Archangel Michael, as your closing message of guidance for my lovely Capricorns? This is a really lovely reading, guys. I'm so glad. Keep your eyes, Capricorn, on your targeted intention. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me focus on my inner vision and intention. I ask for your guidance in releasing any fears or doubts granting me the confidence and courage to take action towards realizing my dreams. So what do you dream of, Capricorn? You can manifest it, okay? All right. So, Cappy, I'm leaving it there. Have a wonderful weekend, whatever you're up to. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, Cappy.